Hey guys, this is Richard here from Straight to the Biscuits, and today I'm just going to be showing you how to do some rotoscoping in After Effects and Mocha. Mocha is a free tracking and rotoscoping piece of software that comes with After Effects, and it's a really handy tool to use. So first things first, we're going to want to set up a project. Uh, I normally render my clips out into image sequences, it's just a bit nicer to handle. So make sure the frame rate is correct and matching your After Effects comp and also your pixel aspect ratio is correct. And hit OK. So as you'll see, we've got our clip now inside Mocha. So the first thing we need to do is draw a rough mat around the object that you want to track. Uh, this doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to follow the rough shape. Mocha will do the rest. Once you've done that, check that you've got translation, scale, rotation, and shear selected, and also that the minimum percentage pixels used is increased because nothing is going to be crossing in front of our object, so we don't need to lower this. Once you've done that, just hit the track forward button and the clip will track for you. You can see our berry is nicely tracked if you scrub through. Next thing to do is name that layer just so we know exactly where that is and that that is the track and then we can turn off the tracking and turn off the visibility because we don't need this anymore. So the next step is to do the roto. Uh, pick the best frame which is going to be the one that where the object is most visible and most clear and then start your roto from there. Making sure to split your objects into pieces depending on the motion of the object. Uh, once you've done that, just name your layers again just so we know where they are. And then all we have to do is select the layer, go to link to track, and link it to our track. You'll now see if you scrub through on the timeline that our roto is following the shape because we have linked it to the track. Obviously because of the way objects move, the roto may slide a little bit throughout the motion. So now we just need to go through and touch up the roto at certain points. Scrub through and check that everything is looking good. And then go down to export shape data, select all visible layers because we've got we've only got those layers visible. Hit copy to clipboard and then head over to After Effects. Duplicate up our clip, go to edit and hit paste mocha mask. This will bring in our masks from Mocha and create masks within After Effects. This has been a quick tutorial on how to track and rotoscope in Mocha and then bring that data over into After Effects so you can manipulate objects separately from a background. If you'd like to see more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website at www.straighttothebiscuits.com.